look at this. There's 2,341 members in my trading group. And we've been killing it. I want to give a few shout outs to my trading group. CBC, thank you so much. I'm up $13,000 this week. Your group's amazing. I made $47,000 in April because of your setups. You're, this person's up 2,400, 1,500, 647%. This person doubled my money after a phone call that we had uh, just yesterday. This person said, I woke up and I had 73% gains in data. Thank you. I woke up with 58% gains while I was sleeping. Another thousand dollars. That's four thousand dollars in seven days. I've got a cryptocurrency trading group. I've got six chat groups where everybody's calling out breakouts, posts, and charts, working together to trade this market. I've got 41 videos in a playlist. If you don't know anything about trading at all, nothing, you can watch these videos. You'll be making profitable trades. Number one reason why people join my trading group is I post profitable trading setups every single day, and we've been killing it. If you guys want to join the cryptocurrency trading group, you want to pay in crypto, email me, cryptobitcoinchris at gmail.com. I'll get you set up and in the group today. You pay for six months in crypto, you get a 20% discount. You pay for the year in crypto, you get an additional month for free and a 30% discount. If you do wanna pay with a card month to month on a monthly basis, you can do so. There's a Patreon link that's in the description. This is Tezos up 72%. You can see here's the setup posted. Here's 52% out of link. Again, bought the breakout down here. Here's the setup. Here's Ethereum, 57% gains out of Ethereum. Here's the setup. Bitcoin at cash broke out 60% gain to over time. I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto daily. Before we jump into this video, I want to ask you guys, smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? I'm going to keep you up to date daily on all the news that moves the market, technical analysis, setups for some of these altcoins, everything you need to know to be very profitable and successful in this market. Smash the subscribe, hit that like button, jumping right into the market today in crypto. Bitcoin pulled back 93.35. Bitcoin, big red candle on a 12 hour chart. So we've been talking about this. Bitcoin got stuck at this $9,800, $10,000 resistance level again, got rejected. Now the concern here is this macro trend line is in jeopardy. The candle close is gonna happen in a couple hours. Not a good looking candle. Now the bulls did jump in at about 9,000 and push this price up to about 9,300. You know, bulls holding 9,450 would have kept this macro trend line intact. Uh, if we see continuation of the downside, you're looking at 9,000, 8,500, 7,800, even 7,000. We just have to keep an eye on this. I'll keep you updated daily. Again, the bullish case, like we've talked about, my buy signal in the past previously was 10,500. This is the big, these arrows show quite a few times, quite a few occasions where Bitcoin's got rejected by this level. You know, potentially, will we see a downtrend going forward? Shout out, I want to give a shout, a couple shout outs to uh, people in my trading group. Uh, this gentleman, Roger Adcock, he hit uh, CHR, Chromia, for 100% gains. Huge. He said it's 5% of this is going to go as, into his early retirement moon bag. That's what we all need, moon bags. Next person, Dork, who's new to the group, he said, I'm still learning. I started with $1,000 at the beginning of May. Five weeks later, I've got $3,200. Next person stated, I went from half a Bitcoin to almost four Bitcoin in eight days after joining the group, which is phenomenal. This is one of the top stories I've seen. This is Gemini Exchange. And the other day, I've got this theory about long wicks. And a lot of times you see these long wicks and they, they're the reversal signs. Okay, so for an example, you see this long wick and you get a move to the downside. Okay, and then here's a, here's a, you know, essentially long wick here, and then it's reversal, right? Long wick here, reversal. But again, this wick got printed uh, on Gemini, and then a couple hours later, it got printed. We, we saw a lot of the Bitcoin price action across all the exchanges print a long wick here. And I said, hmm, long wick theory. Now... The amazing thing about this is this is something that I didn't identify after the fact. I posted in group and I said, hmm, you guys keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this. Long wick theory. Let's test it. Like there's, it, it's pretty amazing. Technical analysis is pretty amazing because you can go through and you can find these patterns or nuances that exist in the price action and look for something similar in the future. And so, hey, will this long wick pattern play out? So let's see what happens. 
let's see, a lot of times there's a reversal here. And sure enough, you see Bitcoin price action pulled back. Now, Bitcoin hit the measured move target, which ran down here to 9,000, came back up here. Now, the question is, is this a bearish retest? If this is confirmed, you know, you could see some more downside. Uh, the RSI was oversold. You got an RSI oversold bounce here. Uh, potentially, the MACD is curling higher, so maybe you get a bullish cross. This is only the one hour time frame, so these are smaller time frame signals, so smaller moves. So I was looking for this move about five days ago. You know, the hardest thing to quantify when I posted Bitcoin move, move, large move coming potentially in 48 hours, you know, I was looking for it in here, it happened here, I was off. The hardest thing to, to quantify in this market is time. Like someone says, hey, Chris, when is this going to happen? Like it's really tough to quantify like when. China seized all the Bitcoin bank accounts. China FUD, somebody, shout out to Elizabeth in my trading group. She said, hey, watch out for the China FUD. China police have frozen several thousand accounts of Bitcoin traders during this extensive crackdown. Now, you know that the Dow plummeted 1,700 points. And investors were growing fearful about the economy after, you know, the Dow's had this amazing run up. Guess what happens? People take profits. But it was cool to see this gentleman joined the group recently and said, hey, you know, I joined last week. I made a ton of money tonight, not in crypto. I watched the vids and I, I shorted the Dow tonight from the get go. Super big thanks to CBC. Again, technical analysis works in all markets. It's pretty amazing what we've put together. This is just to kind of elaborate on this DeFi idea I was talking to you about yesterday. I've got a setup coming for you on ZRX. ZRX, potentially the second largest DeFi project by market cap next to Maker. Uh, so then you've got Kyber, Synthetics, uh, UMA, DAI, Compound Ether, ETHLAND, Bancor, and Wrapped Bitcoin. So the point is this, ZRX is, already has a partnership with MakerDAO, and ZRX is potentially undervalued, uh, possibly under the radar as well. So there's some big developments coming to be released, and you could possibly see some further gains in ZRX. And so I've got a setup. Uh, with these ideas in store for you. Now, I wanna talk to you about the altcoin hype cycles, which I've talked about in the past, but just know like these altcoins are cyclical as far as their news goes. You know, a lot of people will say, hey, this is altcoin season for these smaller and, and micro cap coins. And the reason is because the quarters end and all the news has to happen and news, all these mainnet launches, mainnet season is essentially right now. And so, so this hype cycle's in full swing right now. So the question is, after this Bitcoin pullback, what are these altcoins gonna do? And I figure, hey, you know, we're about right here. Like this is gonna peak out soon. You know, and then, you know, potentially there's still some upside here for these altcoins, but you'll go through this lull. And then again, you get another type of altcoin hype cycle at the end of every quarter. So it's really important to understand like news is part of this. You put some technical, technical analysis behind it and you will make a ton of money in this market. The goal is of this video is to really help you guys understand that there are a lot of different ideas that you need to understand about this market. News is one of them. Everybody can, can read the news, right? But news, and I'm gonna show you this, news is really easily manipulated. Okay, so as an example, so Breaker Mag came out with this article and you just have to know myself as well as every YouTuber as well as every, you know, crypto news outlet gets contacted by these projects on a daily basis. I get a ton of emails. Hey, will you talk about this project? We're going to pay you X amount. We want to pay you X amount to talk about this project. And guess what? YouTubers are starving. Like YouTube does not pay the bills, right? People make probably $5 an hour, or I do, $5 an hour making YouTube videos. It does not pay the bills. So the important thing is you have these projects throwing money at all these YouTubers and news outlets. And what happens is you get a jaded view of the reality of this space. You're only gonna find out and know and really understand what these projects want you to know. Okay, but they went through and they actually documented this and essentially they were offered, you know, five hundred, a thousand dollars to write these articles and some sometimes like these sponsored ideas were actually they'd, they'd offer more money if they didn't mention it was a sponsored review. These projects are paying for the news that they want you to see and understand. So what Breaker Mag did is they went through and they con contacted all these crypto news outlets. And they said, how much is it gonna cost? We wanna get an article written. They pretended like they were a project. We wanna get an article written that doesn't say it's sponsored. And we want you to, to, to essentially publish it. Like it's, it's something that you found out or you basically realized uh, as your own content. 
and they went through and, and anywhere from 240 to 1,000 to 1,500. Some news outlets were charging as much as 3,500 and 4,000 to get whatever story the project wanted to, to get it published. So just know this space is highly, highly manipulated. A lot of this stuff you probably don't see and fully understand. Like this is a cash grab for a lot of these projects. They'll throw blockchain into anything just to make a buck. So just remember that. Now the cool thing about that I like about TA is it kind of puts the power back in your hands. It gives you the ability to really decipher what this market's doing aside from the news. Yeah, news is part of it, but the reason why news is part of it is because it's how people perceive the news. If there was no retail that was reading the news, it would, the news wouldn't affect the market, right? So because retail acknowledges it potentially is real or potentially has merit, that moves the price of the market because retail buys based on the news. Technicals are harder to understand. What I really want to encourage you guys to do is we've got a ton of really talented crypto YouTubers that focus on technical analysis. I want you to really focus on that. Like there's a point when you start to see technicals and you could pretty much tell somebody the news based on, on, the, on the technicals, right? You, there's, there's, you know, kind of a cliche in trading and technical analysis that says, hey, show me the charts and I'll tell you the news. And, and so it's just important to understand that there's a lot of different aspects of this market that you need to be well versed in and technicals are a game changer. And I'll build that case with you throughout the rest of this video. Bitcoin dominance. Okay, Bitcoin dominance, this is price action is trying to reverse. You had this double bottom that didn't exactly play out. Now this turned into a triangle, which essentially could be a bear pennant, but now the price action is starting to break higher. Like this is trying to reverse. Now, if this does reverse, you'll see these altcoins, they will not move as well. A lot of this has to do with the money flow into the larger cap altcoins, okay, in which the, the larger cap altcoins haven't really been moving. These smaller caps will still continue to perform because that's where a lot of your main net launches, a lot of your news. And let's face it, these smaller cap coins, they don't, it doesn't take much to move a couple million dollar market cap, right? You can, you can 2x an a $8 million coin real easy with 8 million bucks. You're trying to 2x, you know, Bitcoin or, or XRP, it's going to take billions. Okay, so it's easier to move these smaller caps. But important thing to understand here is as this moves higher, you know, the altcoins will kind of lag and you won't see as much popping out of these altcoins, especially the larger caps like I talked about. ZRX, here's a midterm hold idea I've got for you, kind of based on that DeFi idea we were talking about briefly. So this is a midterm hold. And again, you don't want to trade this. Don't even listen to me. If you don't know how to trade, you don't know how to use stop loss, you don't know how to manage risk, like you have no business even looking at, there's a ton of books you can get. There are a ton of resources. I used to watch a lot of stock traders videos on YouTube. I had a gentleman hit me up the other day on the phone and he was talking to me, he was like, how did you learn? What kind of background do you have, Mr. Richards? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I worked in financial markets, but it wasn't anything to do with this. I, where did I go to get my training? I went to the school of got my teeth kicked in. And then I followed that up with learn the hard way. Then I went to undergrad studies at completely got wrecked. Like I learned the hard way. That's what is so amazing about just this, this market and just us as humans. Like you can be successful as you want to be in life. Like you can make things happen. Like you just have to be driven and you have to be number one, the most important thing. And you'll probably see this in me as well as I know you can do this as well. Be consistent, be consistent. Even if you're not the best, be consistent. That's the most important part of being successful. Now, ZRX, midterm hold buy the breakout of this level. It would be great to see a bounce here off a of 200 simple. The best entries down here uh, would be a retest of this falling wedge. Here's the targets. Like this does not mean buy now. And that's the most important thing uh, about these setups. It's not, hey, here, buy now, buy, buy, buy. It's, hey, when this happens, then do this. Here's a pretty cool chart. And, I, and I get probably the biggest downside I have with uh, talking to you guys about this market is I'm limited. I make these videos one time per day and I feel like you guys don't get the full picture or I'm not really able to keep you guys as updated as I'd like to. But essentially this was a CME futures chart. Now you got a rising wedge. You know, you guys know this. Rising wedges, what do they do? They break to the downside. Here's a measured move, 94.50. What happened? Boom. Well, missed a target wasn't perfect ran through 94.50 like it was nothing like a hot knife through butter 
bounce at about 9,000. And, and what's crazy is it came back up here in this other triangle that I had been working with previously. It came back in. Now it's inside the triangle. Look at that. I'm like, it's completely respected. Came back up, tapped the top line, came back down and tapped the bottom line. You start to see this stuff and it's like, dude, this is legitimate. Like, I wish I would have known. I wish I would have known this in the beginning. Like, I had to take the dirt road to figuring this stuff out. And that's why I want to make it a lot easier on you guys. And that's what drives me to, to continue to make these videos. Yesterday, I talked to you about this. What's happened to Ada recently? Hype, hype, pump, 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 pump. Well, guess what happens? We know this. We talk about this. You guys know this. Public test net launches. What happens? Sell off. Not a lot of people watch this video. Early crypto retirement. I should have called it Bitcoin goes to the moon. Everybody would have watched it and they would have saw ADA. Listen, here's the point. This test net, when it launches, guess what happens? Like everybody thinks, okay, he's a test net. This is it. I'm going to get rich. No, traders take profits. Okay, then you got this rising wedge. Well, what happens with rising wedges? You guys should know this. 68% chance that it breaks to the downside. And what happened? Boom. Now... You got the break to the downside. It just takes a little bit of time to understand the basics. You don't have to be a phenomenal technical analyst to, to make a ton of money in this market. You just have to understand the basics. Now, you can see the coins on, on Binance have cooled off a little bit. 40%, 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, right? The market's uncertain. Well, possibly these setups aren't going to play out like they have been. There's cooling off time. Now, as soon as this market sees something slightly bullish or, or or just the idea that bitcoin might be stable and again the big concern is you got a daily candle close coming it's not going to be a pretty daily candle close and you got asia waking up soon and what's asia going to do they're going to get out of bed and they're going to see a big red candle and what are they going to do think about it what happens when you wake up you look at your phone and you're like what i lost freaking how much are they going to just sell that's the question or they think it's dipped enough and they're going to buy xlm i talked to you guys about this setup the great thing about buying the breakout is that you're buying the actual move to the upside. A lot of people hit me up and they're like, Chris, like, what's your success rate? Well, it's pretty high because you're buying the move. Like you're buying the actual move. You're not buying the dip and buying the dip and buying and, and hoping for a reversal. You're buying the move. And then you could potentially increase on the retest. Okay. And you can see this rolled over. This is not a bullish sign for XLM. Okay. And so you wouldn't have entered this trade. Okay, so it's like, hey, find the next one. This is an idea I talked to you about VeChain, buying the breakout, buying the move higher. Buying the breakout of this level is an idea where, you know, you would, you would open a position once you get a confirmed breakout. You know, this does not mean buy now. VeChain, what did VeChain do? Boom, it, it jumped 25, 27%. Broke out, retest, boom, to the upside. These retests are money. You know, you miss these breakouts, you, these, these retests brings new buyers into the market. Again, the goal of this video is to ask you guys and encourage you guys to just expand your horizons. Get a book. There's a bunch of, you can get used technical analysis books on eBay for a couple dollars. Shipped. Shipped. It's crazy. Watch some, you know, there's a bunch of stock guys you can watch. There, there's a lot of talented TA people that you can watch uh, in crypto. You know, crypto YouTubers uh, that talk about TA. I just want you to kind of expand your mind as far as this goes. It's hard to take this serious. Like, start to learn a couple of the basics. The, the, we've got an 18-month bull run ahead of us. I just want to make sure you guys aren't scrambling to figure out, like, hey, when do I take profits? When do I sell? There's going to be, there's going to come to a point where you got to sell. You got to take profits. You got to realize your gains. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.